rather significant secret, I guess, or not secret, but <laughs> said on the broadcast today. Uh, uh, yeah. Eric is expecting. She yeah. is, yeah. Um, yeah, we're about to be parents very soon, so we're obviously super excited. And um, yeah, uh, you know, we've been sharing the news with friends and family, obviously, but um, I didn't think it was something that I really particularly needed to share out here. Uh, you know, it's it's a it's a private matter, but you know we're we're really excited and you know can't wait for her to get here. Is it a kind of situation where you're kind of waiting to see what happens, whether you keep playing yeah. or? I'm just waiting for a phone call. I was waiting for a phone call last week and it didn't come. And then uh, you know Harry's been you know keeping his his phone in his pocket just to to make sure, but um, no nothing as of yet. And if it does, that call. Oh, comes. out of here. Yeah. Out of here. How would you uh, assess your play given the conditions today? I played okay. I probably didn't drive it as well as I did the first couple of days, which put me out of position. Um, and then from there, it's it's so tough to get a close. I mean, I uh, you know I had nine birdies through the first two days. I only had two birdies today. Um, so yeah, I just didn't drive it in the fairway enough to give myself enough looks felt like I hung in there and, you know, I was sort of scrappy, some good two putts on the back nine, sort of got on a nice run of, um, a nice run of pars there after 11, and then it was just a shame to, to bogey the last, um, you know, it would have been nice to go into tomorrow one closer to the lead, but, um, you know, I, I think I'm still right, right in it, right in the thick of things, and, you know, if I can get off to a, you know, a decent start tomorrow, you know, hopefully I'll be right there. With everything kind of going on, on and off the course, does Olympia force you to narrow your focus with how stern a test it's been this week? Yeah, I, I think from the get-go, it's definitely, you know, I've, you know, my mind has been wandering the last few weeks, and now you guys sort of know the reason why. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, it's such a demanding golf course out there. You just have to think over every shot. You can't have a lapse of concentration, and, um yeah, it's it's definitely narrowed my focus, and I've played I've played a little better this week because of that. Congrats, mate. Thank you. Um, how much has it played into that narrative of your focus sort of drifting? What's that? How, the the baby on the wall. Um, uh, not like not so much the first few weeks, but the last couple of weeks. You know, when you're sort of you you're going out to play and maybe not knowing whether you're going to finish the round or not. So um, that's sort of a little bit, I've, look, it's definitely not an excuse. I just haven't played well enough. But, um, you know, it's an, again, it's a nice, I keep talking about perspective. You know, if you do play bad, you know, I've got some awesome stuff coming up on the horizon, which is, which is really cool. And, um, you know, it makes the bad days a lot easier to handle. And just on the, the putter switch that you did the other day and into now, I feel like today you actually hit, a lot of really good putts that were unlucky. Can you just yeah, speak to a that lot change? of good putts that, you know, caught edges, uh, you know, dived across the front of the hole, or maybe a touch firm and caught the top side. I had a few like that today, so I, I felt like I putted. I had a couple of tentative ones on the front nine, but you know, once I got the speed down a little bit more, I felt like I actually putted okay, even though you know, not much dropped. Rory, is there a situation where the timing of the baby could lead you to pull out next week from East Lake? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, definitely. You know, just depending on what happens, I, you know, it's, I'm going to play in many more tour championships and, you know, it's only going to be the, the birth of your first child once. So, um, that trumps anything else. Thank you.